All right, it's been a while since I've done one of these room tour reviews and I figure lots changed since then. So it's time for another one. Uh, I won't be showing off most of the ships here in my collection. Most of them are in storage right now besides the Slave 1. But let's get started. So as you can see, probably a lot has changed since the last time. Starting on this side here. Between these two shells is all just black series. This one in particular is mostly bounty hunters and Han and Leos. That jingle fit there's the gaming greats one. Like how I have Bo Katan and Kosha Reeves there. And Cad Bane in the back. And Dr. Afro and Triple Zero and uh, BT. That newly released Fennec Shand. Bunch of Leia's. That's the Figure Arts Leia. Next to mostly have uh, Jedi and some clones, and then uh, Sith mostly. Have the four Bad Batch characters for now. Have Echo on pre-order. A couple Lukes. Uh, that cape I have on Ahsoka is a custom. Same with the. Attack of the Clones, Anakin and Obi-Wan there. And the uh, Qui-Gon and Figure Arts Obi-Wan back there. Most of the capes you see here are custom. Have the Figure Arts Dooku back there. Thrawn and Tarkin in the back there. Interrogation droid next to Vader. We also have some the 2006 holograms on most corners of each shelf. Uh, next, again, the Clone Wars. I still collect some of the original Clone Wars action figures here and there. Uh, at this point I have all the clone commanders or captains or lieutenants. A good chunk of the Jedi. Still one of my favorite lines to date. It was very exciting at the time and Uh, that cloak for that particular Ahsoka, and then of course the mall back there, the vintage collection versions. I uh, don't didn't really have anywhere else to put them, and I figure they fit along with the Clone Wars just fine. Uh, but for the Ahsoka, that cloak she has is a custom as well. The Clone Wars Darth Sidious there as well, probably one of the rarest ones you can get in the entire Clone Wars line. That Django, the six inch Django back there is the original from back in 2015, I think it was. Pope Commando Boss, Rebels Ahsoka. Should probably swap the Clone Wars Ahsoka with the Rebels, but I've always had the Rebels one there and I figure it looks good where it's at. Uh, so this next one's kind of like a combination of Republic and Rebels, mostly. Have a lot of the Senators there. And Watto on the corner. You can see the Revenge of Sith, Padme, and Anakin back there. I've had those since when the movie came out.
two HK50s back there. Uh, I have a small collection of astromech droids there. You can see R2D2 kind of hiding in there a little bit. Some protocol droids as well in the vintage collection, a uh, gonk droid as well, or power droid. Naboo guards there. Uh, there's the recently released Rebel 4 pack. It's a very good set. And the recent re release of the Hoth Rebel Trooper as well. Lando and Lobot back there. Carbonized. Uh, Mando and Cara Dune. And yes, there is a Rose Tico back there. Just threw one in from Tungori at one point. Only about $6. It is a good action figure. Not the best character, though. Some Jawas and small Ewok collection. Screw quite a bit. Have Tebow and uh, Paplu now. Have Indoor Han and Leia and Luke as well. Some Rebel pilots. Next down here we have, I believe these are. This Pretty much my entire Clone Trooper collection minus the Clone Wars versions. So you can see I'm mostly Phase 1 on this side. I'm glad to have those uh, original Clone Wars ARC Troopers. I hope to get more but so far I have three. And of course the three Jedi that came out recently in the Vintage Collection. I do have the originals for all those, but they're up at the Jedi shelf, which we'll get to in a bit. Fortunately, didn't really have the room, so figured that's a good spot for them. Got those three Black Series clones recently, Bly and Cody and the 501st Trooper. Uh, Captain Hauser, if you see there, I did flip his pauldron around to make it, I, you don't really see too many clones minus the 327th that have their pauldron on the right shoulder, so I flipped his around. Figure it looks a little bit more better that way, fits in better. I have most of my ARC troopers back there and clone commandos as well. Lots of 501st clones. Lots of phase one clones. Recently got the those three Mace Windu Attack Battalion clones. Finally glad to have those. And these are more the phase two clones. Lots of Galactic Marines and uh, the 91st Reconnaissance clones that you see there. Those are the ultra rare Atena Mold clones. I have about five of those. And you have pilots. Then most of the 41st Elite back there. Every version of the course on landing platform troops. And Black Series Fox there. Good pose for Cody. It's 
So that's the first shelf. Move on to the second. Start at the top here. Uh, I was always hoping to get that uh, that stand that came with the 40th anniversary Darth Vader and get that for that side as well. Maybe I'll track one down eventually. I don't think they're very expensive, but one more thing to buy and just haven't felt like spending the money for it. This is where all the Mandos are. And that new IG-11 there, it's very good. Old Republic Trooper, that's the original. I know it's getting a re-release, hope to uh, get one of those. Same with Shea Vizsla. I do have a few more Shea Vizslas on order. That's the original. Uh, Bo-Katan there, that's probably one of the best action figures that's came out in the Vintage Collection in a long while. Montrost and Jester Muriel is there as well. Lots of Jingos and Bobas and Mandos. And the armor back there. Uh, next is a continuation of mostly Jedi and Sith. That's the 30th anniversary coin album. Have X Arcoon and Ulik there. Uh, the custom Master Vandar is there. Uh, that character there is uh, the 2006 Saga Collection Phantom Menace Obi Wan. Extra Jason and Jaina Solo. And the uh, Rise of Skywalker Ray. Not a fan of Ray, but it is a very good action figure as well. Would recommend owning it if you were able to find it for a good price. It's the original Tag of Clones Obi Wan. I know he's getting a re release. Same with the uh, Anakin. Lots of Vader's there, and Shira Bree without her uh, headdress on. And the two Palpatines there, that's the Vintage Collection version, and then the other one there is the Throne Room. I do have the Throne Room. I don't have it out on display, just don't have the space for it, but he is there. It's the re-release of Maul. I really hope we get a new vintage collection Count Dooku in the near future. He's definitely probably my biggest demand in the vintage collection. And preferably a newly tooled one from the ground up. And then most of the bread and butter of my Jedi and Sith. I've had uh, Revan and Malak there since the time they came out. I recall seeing them at retail too, $7 at the time. Lots of good customs in there as well. I uh, don't think really much has changed on this shelf since last time I showed it off. Uh, the Kit Fisto is, I did acquire recently. Very good action figure. It's the Vintage Collection one. Have 
crook back there. Would have been a good opportunity to get him in the vintage collection with the recently released Clone Wars action figures. Next is uh, mostly the Jabba's denizens and my separatists. Uh, that Jabba there, I replaced the original that came with the throne room back around 2010. Mine unfortunately became very sticky. I do have them stored away, but this I managed to acquire the Black Series, one that came with the Toys R Us exclusive ranker back in 2013. I got him by himself for a halfway decent price and Zalbar back there, Bomb Vinden in the back as well. Newer Boba and the Bib Fortuna. Have most of the separatist leaders at this point. No, I'm missing Sand Hill, for instance. And most of my battle droids. I have been acquiring a lot more battle droids in recent years. Mostly phase one. Oh. Sometimes they fall over. You can see that, uh, that one there's fell over a little bit. Not the most sturdy. And that is the uh, Vintage Collection Super Battle Droid. Uh, those aren't the original ones I own, but I did have those back around 2002-2003. The Jango Fett and the Count Dooku there. Next is the Imperial Shelf. Uh, only two that are missing is the Hover Tank Drivers. I do have two of them. They're in the Hover Tank right now, but it's in, sh in uh, storage. So I just have the Commander out right there. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's all Death Troopers in the back, in the very back, and then um, the Shadow Troopers... From the vintage collection. I have like 13 or 14 of them. Right there. And then there's some storm commandos as well. I do have one of the. 30th anniversary. Anniversary. Uh, Shadow stormtroopers there. Some Death Star gunners. And TIE pilots. Do have two of the elite squad troopers now. And one of the carbonized short troopers in the original. Imperial commandos as well. Have four purge troopers there. Lots of Royal Guards. I did get a re release of the Royal Guard. They have one on hand. I believe the, that one right there, I think, is him. I did uh, give Peleon an extra Emperor Palpatine's cane. Lots of stormtroopers. I did get two of the recent re released uh, four packs. So you could tell that some of the paint is a little blotchy on some of them. But overall, most of my samples turned out all right. I don't have the uh, a new home stormtrooper that's a Walmart exclusive on pre order yet. Missed out on that. Hope to get a few in the future. Have the space trooper now. 
I was hunting that one down pretty much ever since it came out, but I just never got around to it. Some scout troopers there. Stormtrooper commander. And the 30th anniversary one as well. Then some of the incinerator troopers. Evil troopers. And the phase one dark trooper in the back there. Well, yeah, that's uh, most of the collection there. I believe I did a count about a month ago, and I figured there was about 750 action figures there. Uh, like I said, not every single one is displayed up there, but most of them. Uh, of course, I have Slave 1 out, but take a look at some of the Hot Toys real quick. Uh, I don't have the Sideshow Ilum Padme out or the... Return of the Jedi Luke out right now. Uh, not really much has changed with these. I believe since the last time I filmed, my acquisitions have been Commander Cody and Qui-Gon there. I hope to do a review on them eventually. That Vader is very good. Small and the Revenge of Sith uh, 12 inch Anakin slash Vader. I mostly keep them in Vader these days. And the Anakin there is the first Hot Toys I got. It's very good. Highly recommend it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the extent of my collection right now. Um, course I'm always adding to it very proud of what I've accomplished up until now uh, as of next month in May it'll be 20 years since I start collecting um, unfortunately I don't have some of the originals that I had back in 2002 but I have a good chunk of them uh, like that power of the Jedi stand trooper that you see right there I've had that one pretty much since the beginning. And yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tour. Hope to do more in the future. Um, there will be plenty more reviews coming in the future as well. Um, I know reviews are few and far between. I hope to start branching out and doing some more videos as well. Like maybe like a top 10 vintage collection wants. Or top 10 action figures of all time or something like that. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this tour and like I said, stay tuned for more videos in the future. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And thanks for watching.